I think we can go have a go with the pheasant, so he kind of fits in here nicely. So he has a very tiny head. From that tiny head, we have quite a thick neck that goes into this body, and there are the feathers here. So, and he has this little tiny beak like so. This is basically our pheasant, but he's colorful. So there's like a lot of detail in this fe pheasant and you might get lost uh, in the beginning thinking, oh my gosh, he's so colorful steps. So how to break it into easier steps? We look that one important feature is that his head is bluish and dark and there is this bright red spot. And then overall his body is reddish brown with speckles and the long tail. This is absolutely enough for us to be able to represent the pheasant. So I'm gonna take my um, dark blue and start with the head here. And the neck. Then I'm gonna go in with my black over the top. So remember, this is just sketching. We don't need to use realistic colors and Actually, I like my sketches to be quite bright. And we can also add a bit of this yellow that we used for the parrot. Just a bit here, just to throw in some colors. And also the pheasant has this kind of white color on him. So we have to keep that in mind. Now I'm going to choose a reddish brown. I'm going to add that color first onto all of my bird. I'm not blending it because I like how the paper, this color of the paper shines through and adds that effect of speckles on him. So I'm adding this color all over. Then on the feathers it becomes slightly lighter, we will add that. And then we have that tail, the typical pheasant tail, that's going to show us that it's a pheasant. So here he has quite a prominent dip not forgetting that and then I'm gonna go into my darker browns and add those shadow areas on my pheasant so here underneath and also over here like so it's actually rather here under the neck and adding a couple of strokes to indicate those feathers here like so and then I need something even darker and I'm gonna use my black to create those kind of um, the image of those speckles on him using the pastel on the side I really like how he has this kind of sparkly glow on him, so I'm going to add some of this pink where I see this glow. I really like it. And some of my yellow onto the wing here, just to break up, break up the speckles. Sticking it back slightly. Okay, so now we need that white color on him. I'm going to add it with my light beige and the beak sharp beak and then we're adding the bright red for the area where his eye is like so i'm gonna darken up this shadow a bit with this black Here. here we can try to put that tiny eye in but no it actually it looks not very good okay if we blend it out a bit it looks better and also he has this little bit sticking out on the head um, once um, when we were on a walk <laughs> let's add a bit of those white feathers here so just a pheasant story once when we were on a walk with Coco in the UK, 
she actually managed to catch one which was unexpected because those birds they are very silly they're very stupid not even so they're stupid like they're running away not flying away from you so Coco actually managed to catch one and after me screaming at her let it go she actually dropped it <laughs> but it was quite funny because the pheasant actually like no harm done he managed to fly away but it's the first time that i ever saw my dog catch something so okay so now we have the pheasant and actually he's sitting in the grass so let's give him that grass i'm just gonna add a bit of that red here and let's give him some of that grass and let's try this this is mm, not the best color for the grass let's try yeah this one we can use so i'm gonna use this color here kind of indicate that he's sitting in grass and some of those darker patches in there like so okay so I quite like my pheasant I hope that you come up with an awesome pheasant too. <laughs> so here I'm gonna just correct that shape of the beak. I'm gonna add a bit of that black just to show the shape of the beak so it like balances at us from the color of the paper.